Bamilike Fairy Tales Work today and eat tomorrow. Be lazy today and steal tomorrow. Shwinu and Happy were sisters. One day in March, they went to the farm to sow corn. Happy le tier, ndomnyo pu, mboa nsizisie. Happy sewed on two ridges, got tired and sat down. Shwinu shwini, mbingo fali. Shwinu struggled and continued to sew her maize. Alo pi wa anyo ti, mbo ya wa alo gundomnyo mbo. She sewed on five rows, each containing twenty ridges. That is to say that she sewed corn on one hundred ridges. She finished and came back to her elder sister, Happy who was sitting at the same place where she had left her before. She was cracking palm kernels. She said to her sister, My elder sister, Hawa, shall we go back home? Her elder sister replied, as long as it does not sprout, I will not budge. Poor Shwinu returned back home slowly, but surely. She woke up early the next day returned to the farm, found her elder sister between the ridges, soaked through with dew, so much so that she was shivering. She asked her older sister, Hawa, did your corn germinate? Happy, Pama. Happy replied, it is giving itself unnecessary pain. If it does not sprout, I will not move. Shwinu said, my elder sister, my mother's child, strive and sow, persevere. As you sow, it will grow after you. Courage, my little sister, happy replied. Same like the day before. Poor Shwinu sewed five more rows. The time to return home approached. She came to her sister who was seated in the furrows, eating the raffia fruit. Gambia hawa mbumbi chinda memovo sayo pufu. She said to her, My eldest hawa, my mother's child, let's go home. Happy pambis in jamima. Happy replied to her younger sister, 
a deux couleurs. As in verbe. In the new coup. To have a good trip. As long as it does not germinate, I will not budge. As in verbe. In the new coup. As long as it does not germinate, I will not budge. Shuinu le panjambi. Huesini. Shuinu returned home. Rested. Zoli. Atbua. Santa mungambi mundangu. Biyanchu. Ntasi cho. Ntepu ngamgam gufawu yalupilo. Woke up early the next day and came to her older sister in the farm, who was angrily and furiously digging up the maize seeds she had sown. Since she was digging so violently and angrily, she did not have time to notice that the corn seeds had sprouted. She finished, sat down. Her hair was bristling like the hair of an angry dog. Poor Shwinu saw it and was stunned. Bufa, ndan vu njo angu fali, pinyi mve, mbyanyi me sin chen vu u wanyo kolo yalo. Deplored the situation in vain, but still took the rest of her corn seeds and her nimven, sort of a machete that is used to sow, with her and went on to finish the remaining rows of ridges. It was time to go back home. She came to her elder sister, seated in the furrow in a deep and gloomy sadness. They went back home together. The next day they went to the farm to fetch firewood. Upon arrival, the maize had begun to sprout on the first row of ridges that Shwinu had sown in the first place. After seeing this, Happy's conscience began to judge her. But she did not say anything. Days and nights followed one another. Four months later, in the month of July, Shrinu asked for help to harvest her maize. These filled six barns. She ate some of the maize, shared some, sold some, but the amount remained enormous. Thanks to money coming from selling the maize, the corn, she built two big castles. Happy saw it and exclaimed, Work today and eat tomorrow. Be lazy today and steal tomorrow. No quasi pitié a shunchra chamna. Author Rodrigue Chamna. Narrator Scott Edwin Boring.